Hello everyone, it's Cute Crafter. This video is the third session of the professional sculpting course. Welcome to the third step. Today we will use basic and new techniques to turn this cute moon and star into a beautiful pendant. Let's get started. First, we need a short metal hook about one and a half centimeters long. Using pliers, bend half a centimeter of the hook and apply glue. Then insert the hook into the model at an angle and press the outer part straight into the clay until only the loop is visible. That ensures the hook won't come out after drying and hanging the model. Now I will shape the light gray clay into an oval. Gently press one side to flatten it and slightly narrow the opposite side. Then use your finger to press down the middle of the elbow, creating a head for the bunny. You can use this technique to make heads uh, for uh, many animals and models. For creativity, you can omit or exaggerate any step. To do that, your creations will be unique and imaginative. Next, I need tiny pieces of clay of the same size to make the arms, legs, and ears, which can be hard to weight precisely. First, I make a cylinder and cut it into equal pieces with a cutter. This trick allows you to have uniform clay pieces for any project, saving time and increasing your work speed. We need a smaller pieces of clay for the ears and larger pieces for the arms and legs. Then, knead each piece well and shape it into a teardrop. Using a tool, indent the ears and angle the top slightly. Ensure both parts are the same height. For the bunny's body, roll a piece of clay into a ball, shape it into a third drop, and glue it to the desired spot. Be careful with the glue, use just enough to stick the pieces together. If excess glue seeps out, clean it thoroughly. Now insert a 1 cm wire into the moon to secure the bunny's head. Attach the arms first and flatten the top. Glue the ears onto the head as desired, then glue and attach them to the wire. An important tip when working with air dry clay is to build your sculpture in stages. That means letting the main part dry a bit before adding details. That will help the sculpture maintain its shape and look professional. As you can see, I have attached the bunny's legs. Then I color the inside of the ears and other desired parts using soft pastels. Next, mark the placement of the star balloon with an extra wire and glue it in place. For painting the bunny's face, use water-based acrylic colors thinned with a few drops of water to make it easy to use. The key to have a cute face is to space the eyes appropriately and draw the eyebrows downward. My suggestion for cleaning your brush is gently wipe it on a wet fabric to remove all paint without damaging the bristles. And now, 
Here is our cute bunny pendant. Let it dry completely for 4 days before using it. I've included similar models using the same technique in the description for you to download and practice. The more you practice, the more your creativity and skills will grow. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Subscribe for more. Stay tuned. Bye!